channel so today is or welcome to my channel if you are new so today i'm going to be doing like a simple valentine's day look because obviously valentine's day is tomorrow for anyone watching this on the 13th of february but if you're not and you're watching this after this can just be an easy everyday makeup look so obviously valentine's day is like reds and pinks so my look is going to be based around that that's just how it is and i am also wearing a completely different highlight to what i usually do this is more of like a pinky champagne one where it's usually a more of like the golds and like like the yellow golds so this is a change for me but very pretty and it goes with the look we are aiming for so the palette i'm going to be using is the surf x revolution palette obviously i've not done a review of this yet on my channel but i will get around to it yeah i've not done one yet this is obviously what the palette looks like and i'm going to be using like this pinks and the here and like the red like i'll be dabbling into that it's going to be a very simple look because very simple easy to do for beginners also it's drugstore 10 pounds the palette is so obviously great bargain but i've rumbled on enough so let's go into the look i'm also i have primed already using the elf primer i'm gonna I've grabbed the Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to, well to start with I'm going to dig into this shade right here just so that I can have like a transition shade in my crease. Also, any pinkiness you see, that's from the eyeshadow I wore yesterday. Just thought I'd mention that. These shadows do have names, I just don't know where the slip of, like, I don't know where the sheet is. I'm then going to dip into this orange. Yes, I know I'm doing a pinky look, but... We need to deepen it up because there isn't any lighter pinks so and I'm going to be using that same brush I guess you could call it a secondary transition or just like a little bit of deepening not too much because again this is very simple we I don't want to go too dark with this look so I'm keeping it simple and yeah, I am going to literally be using like two brushes. Next, I'm going to grab the Morphe M139 brush just because it's like more of like a tapered and it's more like pointy and it's just easier for precision. And yeah, and I'm going to dig into the this pink right at the bottom. And I'm going to do this to deepen up my crease. Uh, why have I always got an itchy nose whenever I film? And then I'm going to dig into this 
red shade and this is going to be like my final darkening up the crease shade sort of thing but I'm going to focus this more on the outer edge rather than bringing it up on the other side that oh I need to kind of fix up any differences. But whilst I've got this like brush in the dark shades. I'm going, to go, I'm going to go back into that pink and I'm going to put it on my waterline. But I'm going to focus it on like my outer part of my eye. And then using my finger, yes, my finger, I'm going to dip into this pinky shimmery shade and you can obviously see that and I'm just going to put this on like my eyelid. But like doing the half cook crease. Why am I, I was about to tap off my finger then, jeez. I have had enough sleep, I promise you. I'm the type of person who likes really shimmer, like their lid to be really shimmery, so I'm gonna keep layering it, layering it up, but you can obviously do whatever you want, but I finish layering it up and then grabbing any grabbing this m4 not 4 m139 brush I'm gonna like try and blend out the edges a little so it's not like harsh so that's the eyeshadow complete um off camera i'm gonna do mascara plus if i decide lashes goes with this i will put lashes on you'll find out in a minute so i'm back and no i've not got lashes on i have got eyeliner on though i decided to do eyeliner as a compromise for not being able to have good lashes because i found some when i was tidying out my room but the like one that my mum gave me from that look as though they're from china no offense on china they just you just look at the packaging and it's like yeah no they're not good but i tried to make them work for you but just didn't so you've got the eyeliner for the lipstick i'm going to be using the stay Mac, the rimmel stay Mac lip liquid lip color in the shade blush this is a, a very gorgeous pink it's six pounds so it's like an oldie but a goodie i have no clue how much the eyeliner is i will point it out but yeah let's just apply it.
wondering who else loves the Disney Beauty and the Beast remake obviously I know it's 2017 yeah it's 2017 but I only first watched it was it last year I think it was December last year um fell in love with it and yeah I watched it like three times I did have to skip through it today because I have stuff to do but yeah and as you can see that is the perfect pink and it is a blush pink it's called blush and it's like a blush pink it has got like a purpley undertone to it if you look in the mirror which I've got one down here but yeah I'm obsessed with this look I don't go for like pink lips often just because I usually go for my like more warm tone browns and oranges on my eyes so this was obviously very nice change but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want more videos like this then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also like this video and let's see if I can get this video to 10 likes that's not much and yeah I will see you guys in my next video Bye.